that's a that's a real question. But if him and Biden get into a, a debate situation and he hits Biden with a couple of zingers like that, I mean, I, I don't. Well, so how do you think Biden might get out of the debates? He's going to he's going to have to get out of the debates. I mean, if they're smart, if I was a Democratic strategist, there's no fucking way I would let him debate. Yeah. Like, listen, we're winning because it, the only reason why people are winning, the only reason is because they want Trump out of office. You could have, if if Pete Buttigieg was in the position that Biden was in, it would be, uh, I mean, he would have a much stronger, like so many, much stronger response from people, right? Young person, speaks well. If Tulsi Gabbard was in that position, dude, she could be president. I know that the Democrats, for whatever fucking reason, didn't want her to be. But if she got into those that position when she was debating, if she was debating with Trump, and people saw her and saw her record, saw the fact that she served overseas twice, saw the fact she's been a congresswoman for six years, saw how well she speaks, how honest she is. Yeah, and just she, the integrity, the character that you can see in the way she carries herself. Hundred percent. See, the one of the big problems is the Democratic nomination process happened before coronavirus yeah so like we were in kind of relaxed the economy was doing well but you know things are going just regular and so you kind of the the boring generic candidate won out what we need now is a great like inspiring leader yeah not somebody who is you know joe biden's strategy currently is to just sit back and don't say anything and let trump destroy himself well every That's time he says something he jumbles his words up and he fucks things up and he forgets where he is and it's like you know, he's had multiple brain surgeries. More I didn't than know that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I can play you <laughs> some shit. I mean, like, it's kind of crazy. Hey, Jamie, have I ever played you this one? I'm going to almost send this to you, Jamie. But <clears throat> the look. But the contrast with like Andrew Yang, I, I don't know if you listen to Andrew Yang these days, but he's Andrew's like teeming with ideas. Yes. With energy, with excitement, with a passion of different ways, things we can do. I you know, that's what we need now is a an inspiring a leader that unites. You know, uh, Brett Weinstein is on his uh, big, as he talked about on your podcast, like uniting, having basically a center left and a center right candidate, just uniting the nation. I'm 